I don't know what it is, right, so but there's something the off-putting so about over. it. And it doesn't I'll help that this took place inside an abandoned hospital. The, uh, if there's a place that I would stay away from at all uh, costs, it would be the Clean Water Demon House in Reno, Nevada. A lot of people have died there, and it's also a hot spot for satanic rituals. So, when Patrick and Jason went over to this house, they couldn't believe the stuff they witnessed. 2011, that really is the time of the game when it came out in 2011. Then, yeah, I mean, this game is there anybody be, in here with us? 13 years old, man. We thought we saw you on the stairs. Yeah, we help him. Are you still there? <laughs> you saved me. Are you messing with that Thanks. equipment? Um. Oh yeah. Let us know right. if you're messing with that. That's for a student. Uh, lights on. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna say yes. Yosuke, I mean, that, you know, that's pretty you close to Yosuke. He's going nice to meet you too. Are you okay? Oh, no. At the same time, I don't know what it is about that staircase, but it just doesn't feel right. good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What was that? Yosuke seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? I don't think that was a shadow. An announcer lady hanging from the on the other side of that window. That, that is what we heard. In the last right time. as I was walking they back into the house, I just happened to There's glance no down at the camera's LED screen. I thought I saw some kind of black shadow right. behind that window, right. but I didn't even realize until I reviewed Dangling the footage that I'd captured like probably that? one of the That's best shadow up. figures I've ever Indeed. seen. Then again, it's pretty messed up. And to here's where it gets even more compelling. This is the shot from the camera that was sitting inside of that room, Crap, I'm going to sync up the audio from ride? this camera yeah, to squeaky, our cameras and show you that there's no explainable reason that something should have been behind uh, that door. I don't know, your what track record has not been very good. Okay. What was that? Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can you show up during class? Maybe you don't have any common sense. First of all, my job is at least... My job is at least my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your on ad suits while I'm at it, aren't you on? I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murder. God, I didn't now get your books. You listen to the lecture intently. Your knowledge has increased. Great. So it appears social stats are still a thing in this game, which we did uh, notice something of our courage increase when we had, uh, you know, told them off first. So, are you getting used to this place? More or less. Yeah, not yet. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city, but there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. Oh, and what would that be, Yosuke? The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? It's grilled steak, man. <laughs> like, that's anything special, huh? All right, all right. I know right. a place where you can get it cheap. Want to come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Yeah, you never know enough money to pay for the DVD that you What about me, huh? Yep, no so that will come. My trial of the dragon? You always come around when I'm talking about food. Very much feeling the Ryuji archetype right now. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. Oh, are you supposed to be the end of this game? Is that what it is? Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? You're, you're set up more like heart, though. That's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Sure. Well, I should be on my way. All right, if you insist. Oh, well, we should get going, too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? Uh, well, I'm broke as far as I'm aware, so, and you did say that you're both Alice me. I heard, you know, like, you can't just ask for that one. June's at food. June's is huge, apparently. It's supposed to be this the Big Bang Burger. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, 
They don't have grilled steak here. Wow, you're getting treated. Fall down. I can't stand the ungrateful as could not. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Got it. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. There was mentioning that he was also a transfer student. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. Oh, really? So our entire family came out here. Well, I know that feeling. I know how that goes. Here, this is to welcome you to town. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. The conversation became animated over small time. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? Oh, you 100% can? What do you mean? It's like when Walmart show up in the local, or like in the smaller cities or whatever, when you got all the mom and pop shops. And then all of a sudden, they all start closing up. But you can't blame it on Walmart. It just only really started to pick up once they got there. But hey, you know, oh, it's, hmm. you hate to see it. <sighs> Hey, it's Saki-senpai. Sorry, be right back. Saki says, is she Yus Yosuke's girlfriend? Who's that? Ah, uh, you know, we got to him a little bit. <laughs> he wishes. Oof. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Okay. I think she's working here part-time, though. Oof. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Helping your competition destroy your own business? You hate to see. Hey, I'm finally on break. Oh, uh, okay. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Oh. Ugh, madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. And just now or all the time? Because I certainly sound like all the time. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... Oh, he's <laughs> trying. I'm okay. Thanks, though. Ah, rip. Poor guy. Never any luck. <sighs> Why did I leave school early yesterday? Oh, and did you see it? Did you see the thing? Hey, is he the kid who transferred here? That's right, the one and only. The man, the myth, and the legend himself. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends, so I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. I guess I'll have to keep that in mind. Although something tells me that's a bit more of a you issue than me. Yeah, he's annoying, that's not true. Nah, he was a great guy. He just gave me free food when I just got here. This dude's great. <laughs> I know. I'm just kidding. Right, right. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Mm, you know that feeling far too well. One day it'll go away. Straight copium, buddy. Oh, uh, Senpai? <laughs> 
Saki-senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Oof. Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? <laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. Why are you here, Ch Chie? Why, why do you exist? Why are you a character? The daughter of a local family-run liquor store and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. Hey, that just sounds like Persona, persona fanfiction making art. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, you can't be blushing, bruh. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. Is you that ever hear right? of the Midnight Channel? Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone, exactly at midnight on a rainy night. What is that? Is this supposed to be a Bloody Mary sort of thing? While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. And they say that person's your soulmate. Oh, really? What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something useful. Got him. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? You don't find it a bit suspicious, you know, the fact that you gotta fulfill like 20 different requirements before you go into it, and then all of a sudden, just magically, now this is gonna happen? That's not a little sus to you, Chia. Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? Got it. Wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. Mm -hmm. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Uh, for basing it off of Persona 5, absolutely. Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? Jeez, <laughs> mm -hmm. you shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? Nah, uh, still you. All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. You hear the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate on rain night. Maybe we should try it out. Something tells me I don't have a choice in the matter there. Something tells me I'm getting roped into it regardless. <sighs> Another dinner alone with Nanaka. Did your father call the worry? No. He always says he will. Yeah, that's usually how that goes. What a day. I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No, just eating all your food. No, you're late again. Hmm? I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Next, more details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. That's not sensible. There's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. Miss Yam Yamamoto, the TV announcer, was alive. She was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. The man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hiragami, an Inca singer. Did this incident be tied to their lover's court? I mean, it doesn't sound like a person. to investigate involved. this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. As they should. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. Uh, throw him up as a subject. As a uh, uh, subject with a kid. Ugh. Where the hell did they find her? 
What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Oh, I think we've seen her somewhere before. Now have... Uh, um... The female student's face and voice are instinct, but you felt like you've seen her somewhere before. Really? You don't Don't say. you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? I mean, it sounds like a pretty good day if you were going to do it. Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? No. Oh. Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Honishi Yosuke Sen. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. Ah, oh, of course, not the not the fact that the incident happened as you know, as is, but the fact that they're losing money because of it. Wow, true the real life, huh? <laughs> If they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the culprit. Yes, but so far, no one has come forward to take credit for the crime. I mean, that, you know, why would you do that to yourself? <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet? Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide? <laughs> uh, it happens more than it should. We'll be right back after these messages. At Juness, no. every day, no. every day, no. every day, hey dad, can we go to Juness together sometime? <clears throat> He's gone. <laughs> he sat in that chair and it was just, uh, he gone? No. <clears throat> he seems to be asleep. Jeez. <laughs> He's alright, Hanako. I'll take you there someday, I'm sure. I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. I go still watching TV. You're still chilling here? You should leave him alone. I mean, I, if you insist. Nothing catches your eye. Great. Probably no real reason to actually interact with that area just yet. Go ahead and throw down a save. Should anything happen? The rain falls into the night. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. Watch TV in your room. I have a TV in my room? I thought I saw the remote in there. But... You can hear it raining outside. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into the TV on a rainy night. Could she a story be true? Oh, we're about to figure it out now, aren't we?
Well, you kind of asked for it when you go and do that. Oof. That's got to hurt. Are you okay? I'm fine, Gopian. I'm okay, kind of. Did I wake you up? <laughs> I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. Donago seems to have returned to her. What just happened? You decided to talk about it with the others. Perfect timing, sorry, move over. She ain't forced herself under your umbrella. <laughs> I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they used an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves. I accidentally broke mine and tried the move. move. Congratulations, you played yourself. By the way, did you see it? I did. I do tell them, but the person did show. Never mind, I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. I mean, you could just, you know, say it while we're walking there. Uh, um. Oh, it's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Okay. I'm gonna just go ahead and run the rest. Of the Don't worry about it. You'll catch cold and less rain. You'll catch a cold. Right, good point. If I catch a cold, it could spread, and that's up for everyone. Yeah, I think I'll keep going with the otter. Alright, let's go. I guess Chie is supposed to be the one that's the most self-aware about everything. At least, like, Persona 5 was at least a little bit coy about it, but, but not nah, here. They just go straight in. Hello, everyone. My name is Tamiko Safui. I don't know... How much you know about world history, but I'm next. First, a little about me. I love to use my dowser to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like romance. You guys seem to know this. In fact, world romance is a magnificent romance. History is like a river, it was born in the past and flows ever forward. Yeah, okay. I hope we can all enjoy the profundity of history together. Since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, please stand up. Put one finger on each hand up. Oh. Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditional, the traditional, uh, traditionally believed to be the year of Jesus Christ's birth. Was the year before 188 you called? Uh, could be 1 BC, because it's before 80. He gave the answer you think is correct. Seems to not understand this well. If you think, wait, that history is like math, zero AD would be the natural assumption, but world history is much more common. The Gregorian calendar, which we use today, is based on the Julian calendar, which was made while there was no concept of the zero as a number. That's why when counting backwards, we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC. Hopefully that was a nice introduction to the world history. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge is improved. What's up with the body being hung upside down? That's so freaky. Indeed. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My oh, senpai told me there was a third year oh, inside we've been you from the body. Enough. So she's considered a third year. All right then. Yo, um, it's a, uh, it's not really that important, but. Uh huh. Well, yesterday on TV, I. Uh... Yeah, you're right. Oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. 
Well, okay then. Is it just me or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did. I seriously saw a girl. Oh, <laughs> oh, really, Chie? Is that right? But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Indeed, what does that mean, Chie? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? <laughs> Does that mean we have the same soulmate? I think you're reading into this a little too much there, Chie. How should I know? Mm. How about you? Did you see it? Yeah. He told them about what happened last. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. Oh, if only that were the case, Yosuke. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. <laughs> if it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. Real. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Uh, been in, have been in. I mean, it'll be interesting to see what we come up with past the flat screen. I mean, I guess at that point, it'd probably be like not even a TV at that point, and probably be going along the lines of holograms and whatnot. Maybe that's go check them out on the way back. We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! So cringe. We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> I don't know if I want that or not. They don't believe you at all. You decided to go to the Junes with the others. Julian's electronic park. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? Uh, me, whenever I actually have money to get an actual size TV, but well, that's besides. I don't know. Rich folks? Yeah, apparently. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. trying then I guess well at least looking spree hmm? nope can't get in figures well you didn't even set up the requirements to get in so why would you <laughs> this proves it it was all just a dream besides these flat screen TVs are so thin you just end up on the other side Ugh, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! Uh, looking at everything that just comes out immediately? Yeah. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but... 
With the TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? You serious, GA? Hell no. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? That I did. Oh man, this is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? You think I know? Both of them are staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Uh, but why would I want to, though? Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! There's empty space inside, you tell them. What do you mean, inside? Seems very spacious. What do you mean, spacious? I mean, what's going on? Old crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. <laughs> I can't hold it anymore. Shit! Customers! They're coming! What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here! What are we gonna do? Wait! Whoa! Okay, guys. Alright. Why? Right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Some place inside Juness? Hell no, it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh, what is going on here? Uh. Debatable. Where are we? Are you guys okay? You guys good? Your understanding has increased. Great. I think my butt's cracked now. <laughs> oh, really? You don't say. Uh, of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? A studio for our first palace? Okay. Let's look around, let's go home, it's up to you. Well, let's look around. Huh? But, but look, we need to get home and. Yeah, about that. Have you huh? figured that one out yet? As soon as you figure it out, GA, we will absolutely do it. But, uh, you know, the way I see it, I'm not seeing nothing right now. Wait a minute. Wh which way did we come in from? Exactly. Uh, I don't see a way in or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? Let's calm down. Let's look for a way out. We're due. Let's look for a way. Yeah, 
an exit. We need to find one. Let's calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. I can appreciate the level of, of voice acting right now. I just really hope that it stays fully voice acted. What though I doubt it to be the case. It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but... Damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... Seems that there's no choice for now, but to continue on. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? It's a dead end. There's no exit. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. I can't hold it any longer. My bladder's gonna explode. <laughs> Yosuke, what are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants. You're going here? Oh, you have gotta be kidding. Why are you gonna watch? I can't go if everyone's watching. I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Hmm? Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Oh. <laughs> Dude. This chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. Uh, it's certainly an arrangement, isn't it? <laughs> it's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? No, it's not Morgana's yellow scarf. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. I mean, maybe that's way out. Hey, it's a way out. I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? All right, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. Phew! We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh, okay. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? You can tell me, Jay, because I got no idea. What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! What are you? You want to fight? D don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be fair to ask him nicely. What is this place? What are you? Is this a dream? Yeah, now why don't we figure out what this place is? This place is what it is. 
It doesn't have a name. Great. It's where I live. You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? She what says more well, as, as she yells at him. What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know... Wait, what? What the hell? Where did those TVs come from? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Okay, so Stop I guess pushing. he's a bear. All right, then. Sure. He's uh, something, all right. Did we make it back? Attention shoppers! Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but really, it was Really, Chia, yeah, you can't tell without the face. Come on. Man. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Pretty sus, just saying. Hey, so does that mean... That weird room we saw, could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. I will say, though, immediately, at least compared to the Persona 5, uh, I like the... Uh, I like the more serious tone, at least so far, that it has going for it. At least in terms of, like, the most recent section and whatnot. Like, it's... I don't know, Persona 5 makes it seem more... more like a joke, more than anything. Until you get to the catchy section, and even then, it's still, like, the stakes don't feel that high. Maybe that's just me. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Oh, bringing out that store wrong. All right. You still feel sludge. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? 
She discovered the body. People feel sorry for her. She wasn't in school today. Uh, that's what I'm here. Yeah, that's true. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people oh, looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. Yeah, that's not uh, concerning at all. Oh, work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Oh, really? Amagi Inn, it's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh, yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. Oh, hot springs, you say? Well, 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 I guess we'll have to check that out. Now, whoa. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. Great. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Oh, well, that's not good. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before the announcer was found dead, she was apparently staring, apparently staying at the Moggy Inn run by Yukiko's family. Seems the whereabouts of Saki Kanishi. Who discovered the body are unknown. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. <sighs> you sneeze. Do you feel a slight chill? Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? I sneeze one time and the man's like, bring out the cold medicine. You stick. should get to bed after you take it. Man, you sneeze one time and everybody's already over you. People who are sick should stay in bed. There's a fog today, so you should go to sleep early or you'll catch cold. Not entirely sure that's how the fog works, but all right. You should go straight to bed tonight. A spring cold can be tough. But what if? No. We'll go ahead and get the episode here. A little shorter than the last one, but uh, we did get to see what is apparently the TV vision land. I imagine it's along the lines of what you would expect for something like Mementos. I imagine it's some... Well, it's probably closer to the palace at that point, right? That area itself seems more like palace, but I would imagine that a Mementos-like area would exist within the game. But we will be figuring that out, I'm sure, in the next couple episodes. I appreciate you guys for watching. And we will see you guys in the next episode on Persona 4 Bolt. See ya.